This is James Cobb, the guy on the bike. And we're back here on the Bowery in front of the new museum. And uh, for some reason, they've got this uh, couple of block stretch of the Bowery closed down, and I saw a bunch of uh, Con Ed workers. Well, maybe they've got some kind of a gas leak or something here. What's happening? A water main break. Okay, thanks. We're going to go into the new museum and we're going to check out the ungovernables. This is their triennial of young artists. How has the, uh, the turnout been so far, Mr. Flood? Has it been good? I think, given the fact that there's no way into looks the flower. Like, yeah, it looks like here. you're packed in here. Hey. <laughs> well, I'll get out here on the fifth floor. Please be advised, the web cameras installed on this floor as part of the Never Forever... Gee, now I'm worried. Oh. There's Jerry Saltz. Looks like he's standing in front of his latest pay here. Oh, take some money. Uh-oh. What do we have here? Well, I don't see any dollars. Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. And this is by Rachia Finthong. Well, this is a piece by Amelia Pika titled Venn Diagrams Under the Spotlight. And I'm not going to read the wall label, but uh, a couple of large lighting instruments. Oh, this is a piece by Wu Tsang, The Shape of a Right Statement, 2008. Now, this show is actually running uh, through April and it's going to end up overlapping the Whitney Biennial and I think Wu Tang was one of the only artists that is going to be in both of those shows. And this piece is by Jonathan de Andreda and it's titled The Soka Tropical. This is a long piece and it's kind of a diaristic piece and I guess it was based on somebody's discarded day books. This artist is from Brazil. Now I know that there's going to be a lot of uh, comparisons between this show and the Whitney Biennial. It's, it's kind of the way they, they play the horse races here in the New York art scene. But uh, I think one of the interesting things about the shows at the New Museum is they really try to get an international mix. Also back here in the uh, little cubbyhole by the stairway on the fourth floor is a series of works by Lee Kitt. And this is titled Scratching the Table Surface and Something More. Now, the press release uh, says that this is the, the second iteration of what the new museum is billing as their generation show. And, uh, this is a triennial. And I know the first time that they did this show, they titled it uh, Younger Than Jesus, and they took a lot of flack. Oh, that's an impressive piece. And this is by Adrian Villa Rojas. Well, this is great. This is, geez, this is a very tall piece. It's probably got to be 20 some odd feet. And it's all this uh, cracking, desiccated clay. And these look like pieces of some Imperial Walker, something that was taken from Star Wars or maybe the Alien movies. This is by Minim Hopping, How the Wind Was Born from the series How the Wind Was Born 2010. This is graphite and ink on archival paper.
This almost uh, fits into the category of the meta drawing that we see a lot of out in Williamsburg. I believe this is a British artist represented by a gallery in London. Well, we've got a long piece here installed on the wall by Malia Pika, and it's titled Eavesdropping. Found drinking glasses glue. So it's kind of uh, nice with the colors. Vary from uh, green turquoise ultramarine into the reds. Spide da bo. Pounded copper. It's titled We the People. It's another very impressive sculptural piece. Kind of makes me think of uh, some of the aircraft that I saw out at the Pima Air Base or some Gary architecture. Well, this is always fun. They've got a couple of little nooks here on the stairwell. One of the problems with this provisional art is you never know what's a construction project and what is actually an artwork. This must be an artwork because it's got a wall label. By Abigail Deville. And it's titled Dark Day. all the way up. I would say this probably extends upwards about uh, 30 feet. Well now we'll take a look around on the third floor. This is Days of Truth by Mariana Teleria. composed of found and manipulated objects and wood shelves. That's kind of nice. Analogous forms. Looks like we've got thorns on a little um, paper bag, a plastic bag. Well, we caught up with Harag Vertanian oh, no. of Hyperallergic. Give us a quick impression. Um, I was just saying that I liked the show better than most other shows at the New Museum. Okay, and that's like a that. ringing endorsement. <laughs> Is that, that's all I'm going to tell you right now. But oh, uh, We're going to read about it where? On Hyperallergic. Hyperallergic. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see how fast you can get that online. Yeah, well, I'm going to try to beat you. Well, we're going to do, we're, we're do like three different articles, so one of them will probably be tomorrow. Okay. How, how fast I, can you get yours online? In 20 minutes. Faster, faster than anybody else. <laughs> this is by Julia Dalt. Untitled. Plexiglass, tambour, everlast boxing wraps, and string. That makes me think of it. Finnish fetish artists and maybe some of the light and space artists of California. Well, this show was curated by Anji Ju. And this uh, grouping of tabletop objects is by 
David McKenzie. Now they make a point in the press release of talking about how this is not only an exhibition of artists but also of artist groups and temporary collectives. This is called Cryway. I guess you can sit on this. So I've got a Persian rug with uh, baseboard lighting here. It's kind of nice. It makes it look like it's floating. This is by Slobs and Tartars. And they're coming to you from Dubai. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Come down three floors before we find any paintings. Well, they've got a whole wall of paintings here by Lynette Yadam Boyeki. Uh, some nice sensitive portraits here. Looks like uh, Lynette is represented by Jack Shaneman Gallery. This piece is titled Consideration Like No Other. And uh, I don't know, there are kind of aspects of this that remind me of Marlena Dumas. This is titled Hard Wet Epic 2010. We've got kind of a installation piece. I guess this would be kind of architectural. By Rihanna Tabit. We've got a uh, baffle wall in here with a doorway set into it. And that's all attached to a uh, uh, canvas or muslin bag on the back side. Makes you think about the relationship of architectural space and how uh, malleable it could be. This is the propeller group. TVC Communism 2011. Five channel synchronized video installation with LED monitor. is by Cynthia Marcella and Tiago Mata Marcado, titled The Century, color video and sound. And this is a loop that runs for 9 minutes, 37 seconds. That's a lot of stuff piling up there. Well, now we'll take a look at the second floor. It's kind of an interesting piece by El Kamala. Time exchange fingernails and ink on paper. By Jonathan DeAndre de 4,000 shots. Well, I'm going to have to run through the rest of the show because it's coming up on noon where they're closing the press preview. This is by Hu Z. 
Zhao Yan titled Wood. This is by Husan Khan. We've got some larger installation pieces. This is by Jose Antonio Vega Macado, and it's titled Heavenless Gasoline. And this is the tequila distiller. Well, this large wall drawing is by Kemengwa Lehulre. Chalk drawings and photographs on paper. And it's titled Remembering the Future of a Whole as a Verb. And this was done in Suto. This large grouping of, I think they're works on paper, by Moranira Al Soan, Basam Ramwal, from Waiting Blue to Lingering Yellow. We've got a whole lot of uh, kind of mixed media works on paper, and a lot of them have these uh, translucent uh, elements over the top, and he's applied wall text. Okay, so this is by Cynthia Marcella. All This Is Here, 2012. Pavel Takala. The trainee. And I guess this goes with the video. Now we're down in the basement theater here and we're looking at a film by Wu Tseng. And rich. I want to get married in church in white. Sometimes I sit in a magazine and try to imagine myself in the front cover or even inside. Rock. <laughs> I want everybody to look at me and say, there goes Octavia. Well, we're going to wrap up here at the lobby gallery. And that's good because my battery's running down. This is a piece by a group called Invisible Borders Trans-African Photography Project. And this was organized out of Lagos, Nigeria. This is a video by Lucy Azubik, titled Behind the Riders. This is some works by Gabrielle Sierra. That's interesting. So she's got uh, this is like a piece of wood fit into a slot in the wall. This is untitled. So we've got a ladder that's 
fit into a slot in the wall. She, she could do a great job with uh, reorganizing my storage space here. This is by Ala Yunus, Junior Generals, Junior General on Iraq, 2012. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's like a perspective drawing. Acrylic paint based on paper soldier drawings by Melvin Schneck, Michael Smith, and Austin Erblatt. This is James Calm reporting on the ungovernables here at the new museum, curated by NG Ju here on the Bowery Bankscape.